This video is entitled Heaven. How cool is heaven going to be? I mean, I think about heaven all the time. I'm not one to just beg the Lord 24-7 to come back and take us out of this place, even though I'd like to go home anytime. I've got work to do. We all do. There's so many that are lost. There's so much of a harvest. It's so plentiful. It's actually rotting in the fields because there's a lack of harvesters, and we need to get out and get busy and do all we can to point the lost to the cross of Jesus Christ where the Holy Spirit can gently kneel them and the precious blood of Jesus can wash away their sins and make them whole. But in the meantime, wow, what's heaven going to be? First of all, the rapture. <laughs> How cool is the rapture going to be, man? To be doing whatever we're doing. You know, two working in the field, two cooking food, two sitting down talking, whatever. And then boom, the, 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 the heaven is parred and, and Jesus Christ comes in the cloud. We, we, hear the, we hear the yell, come hither, the trumpet blast. And we begin to rise and, and we change. The dead in Christ will rise first. Now I'm looking towards a, a cemetery that's down the street from me. It's real close. And we always look in the eastern sky, my wife and I do, and just imagine the dead rising out of that cemetery, the dead in Christ, and then us going behind them. And then getting to heaven. Can you imagine? Can you even imagine what it's going to be like to travel through the skies and see all the, all the magnificent sights and to come into heaven and be welcomed and to be greeted. Can you imagine what it's going to be like to be able to set eyes on Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the one who died for us, for our sins, the one who suffered with no sin, nothing wrong in his life, but was mistreated by human beings. And so many times we've mistreated him by the way we've lived. Can you imagine to be able to look into his eyes? If we could even do that, I, I believe we'll fall on our face. I believe will kiss his feet and I believe that he'll have to to get us to stand up because I don't think we'll be able to stand I don't think our knees will hold us can you imagine how that's going to feel can you imagine the joy of seeing him smile and hug us and tell us well done my good and faithful servant enter into heaven wow I think about this so many times and it's going to be incredible it's going to be so beautiful and so wonderful to be able to do this and so many people have said that they've had visions of heaven or they've actually went to heaven and, and seen things and the things that they say they've seen are, are magnificent but they're, they pale in comparison to what we're actually going to see. Getting up there and even though we don't deserve it, you know, I don't deserve anything more than just a shack or a hut. I don't deserve to have a mansion. I don't deserve to have a, a, a beautiful place to live but Jesus says he's preparing one for us and he's going to have something for us in heaven is just beyond our wildest dreams. There's going to be the Bema Seat Judgment where we will stand before Jesus and all of our works will be put through the fire. And those that are like wood and straw will be burned up and nothing will happen or come of it. And those things that are like gold and silver will be tried through the fire and they'll pass through the fire and still be there. And those will be our rewards. And I don't know about you, but I don't deserve any rewards. I don't deserve any crowns. And Jesus deserves all the crowns. He deserves all the glory, all the praise, all the rewards. But he said he's going to give us crowns to put on our heads. And we're going to cast them at his feet. Because they belong to him. And the marriage supper of the Lamb. Wow, can you imagine that? Sitting at a huge banquet table with Christ at the head. And all of our saved family and friends. And all of our new friends we're going to meet and live with forever. Just sitting there having a marriage supper with our Lord and Savior, the groom, with us, the bride of Christ. Just just sitting there and, and kicking back and just enjoying time and exploring all the sights, going to the, the uh, this, walking down the streets of gold, going and, and drinking from the river of life that flows from the throne of God, the trees of life that line the streets of gold on both sides and bear new fruit, new crop every month. Just imagine eating that fruit. Wow. I just, you know, <laughs> I don't know about you, but it just gives me goosebumps. It just, man, it just fires me up. And it just gets me so excited to think about that. Think about heaven and, and the beautiful colors we've never seen and the beautiful trees and plants and flowers. I've heard people say that the flowers sing in heaven, and, and I'm, I believe they would. All the beautiful animals and the, and the reunions with family and friends who have died before us and and to be able to see, to be able to see with our own eyes, all the people that through our humble efforts, through our 
efforts that are just that are just zero amount of the credit. We should never accept even the inkling of credit for anything. But the efforts that the Holy Spirit working through us and ministering to the lost to see how many actually came to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior through what we, you know, in our humble way try to do and just see those faces and, and hear the testimony and all the new friends we're going to have. And, it, it, you know, it's going to be awesome going to all the planets and discovering them. And I think we'll be able to travel through time and, and see past events. And, and it's just going to be incredible. It's going to be amazing. It's just going to be, you know, beyond belief. And to come back down with Jesus for Armageddon and after the enemy is destroyed, to be on earth during the, the millennial kingdom, a thousand years, and to see Jesus restored to his, to his right place and his crown and, and his, in his throne in Jerusalem as the King of kings, Lord of lords. King David will be there and the saints and, and just will be there just teaching the humans about Jesus Christ and, and doing whatever Jesus Christ has in store for us for a job to serve, to rule, whatever it is. I'm happy to do whatever Jesus wants me to do and to see the, the humans grow over a thousand years. And then when it's all said and done after the great white throne judgment and the new Jerusalem comes down, and I think it will hover above the earth because, because dimensions in the Bible are so huge that I think it will be right above the earth and we'll be joined together. God, Jesus, the earth, humans all reunited again with perfect bodies and then I think we'll resettle the earth all kinds of new exploration all kinds of new inventions all kinds of time travel space travel uh, just new kinds of, of it's gonna be just magnificent exploring traveling the world doing everything it's gonna be incredible Wow if you can't get fired up about heaven something's wrong I mean just it's just gonna be I can't even put it into words I, I, I believe that our favorite pets here on earth will rejoin us and either in heaven or back on the new earth and we'll have them with us and all of our family and friends and new family and friends and it's just going to be amazing it's going to be incredible it really is you know i tell my wife all the time just because there's no marriage in heaven we've been married 25 years and i've known her for 28 years and i believe that we'll be best friends in heaven we'll always be able to hang out and do stuff and just you know, we're best friends now but the best friends will be there will be even more so and it's just going to be so incredible. I just, I'm just so excited about it. But then after that, after the excitement, and after the thrill, and the, the unadulterated joy, then I think of family members who don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I think of neighbors and friends. I think of people that hate me, that spitefully use me, that despise me for what I do for Jesus, that despise me for the way I live my life. But I love them and I pray for them, I really do. And I think about how they're never gonna see this. They're never gonna be able to step foot in heaven. They're never gonna be able to walk the streets of gold, to drink from the water of life, to eat of the fruit, the tree of life, to hug Jesus Christ above all, the Lord and Savior. The only way they'll be able to do that, my friends, is if we can get to them. If we just get up out of our chairs, turn the TV off, Turn off whatever is, is hindering us and, and whatever is, is, seems so important to us now. Nothing is as important, my friends, than keeping your own house in order, making sure you're ready to go to heaven, first of all, but then getting out, reaping the harvest. The harvest is so plentiful, it's rotting in the fields. And all those people will be lost forever and never step foot in heaven if we don't reach out to them. They may not listen. We may not even think that they care. That's not our job, though. Our job is to plant the seed. Our job is to show them the truth. Share the good news of Jesus Christ with them. Let them know how much we love them, that we want them to be with us in heaven. And you know what? If they don't listen, if they're not ready at the time of the rapture, then the seed is planted, and there's a great chance that during the great tri tribulation, they'll stand firm for Jesus, they'll stay strong, and they'll get saved and they'll refuse the mark of the beast and they'll still join us in heaven on the second run. It's just so important. We've got to get the word out to them. We've got to tell them the truth. We've got to share the good news of Jesus Christ with everyone and just just get out and reap the harvest and just get out and do it. Eternity is forever, my friends, and I don't want anyone to be forever in hell. And if you go to hell, it is forever. There's no get out of jail free card, no 
way to, to pay the priest off like the Catholics believe to get someone out of hell. There's no universalism where no one goes to hell. There's no part-time hell where people are led into heaven eventually. No. Hell is forever. Heaven is forever. Let's get the word out. Let's show the people in this world we care enough about them. We care enough about their souls. We care enough about their eternity to share the good news of Jesus Christ. To tell them the truth, even though the truth may hurt. To rebuke, correct, and teach Christians who have fallen away from the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not judging. And to help them to be able to be restored with God and Jesus through sincere repentance of their sins and iniquities when they're in a backslidden state. Time is now, my friends. The rapture is imminent. Heaven is right around the corner. But so many, the majority of this in this world, are going to miss it. And we need to reach as many as we can and to get them back on track so they can accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and they can join us in heaven and just be part of the, just, the, that just wondrous, wondrous eternity. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you know this is a topic that just thrills me and it makes me so sad. I just can't wait for heaven. I can't wait for the rapture. I can wait, but I can't wait. It's just going to be so cool. But then I think of those who aren't ready. The majority of this world aren't ready, and they won't get ready. The great apostasy is here, the falling away from God, from Jesus Christ. Even among the church, so many, the majority of the church has fallen away. We need to be strong. We need to get up off of our seats, out of our chairs, turn the TV off. Whatever's distracting us, turn it off. We just get out in the fields, reap the harvest, and just work as hard as we can to further the kingdom of God here on earth as it is in heaven. They're lost forever, my friends. They're lost forever without us. And Jesus, I know that you love the lost. And I know that heaven celebrates whenever any one person, every time one person in this world comes to Jesus Christ or returns after being backslidden, heaven celebrates and throws a huge party. Let's just keep heaven celebrating and partying until the imminent rapture. And let's just work as hard as we can. Please pierce hearts your souls, minds, and spirits. Help people just to be motivated to get out and do it and to share this video with all that we can. In the precious name of Jesus, I ask it. Amen. And as always, my friends, if you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I know I've done bad things. I've done wrong things, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you were risen again on the third day and went right to heaven to the right hand side of the Father and since then have been preparing an eternal home for all Christians. I pray that you would forgive me of my sins, that you would cleanse my heart, that you would live in my heart, make me whole, make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. And if you pray this, my friends, Jesus says that all who ask will be saved, everyone. And if you'd like to pray with someone, Send me an inbox or personal message. I'd love to pray for salvation with you. If you have a lost loved one, a friend or a neighbor who doesn't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, if you are sick, have a sick family member, friend, neighbor, if you need a job, a car, a home, if you need food, clothing, water, if you have a sick pet, whatever it is, send me an inbox or a message. I would love to pray with you. Praying is just such an honor for me. I pray for so many every day because I love prayer and I believe in prayer. I've seen God answer prayer over and over and over and over and over again. If you pray, believing in your heart and speaking those words from your heart with your mouth, God will answer every one of your prayers as long as it's within his holy will. Test him. He'll show you his truth. Thanks again for watching the video, taking time. Please share with as many as possible because the more that can see the truth and hear the truth from the Holy Spirit through me, the more that can be blessed, lives can be changed, and people can be led to the cross where Jesus Christ can save them. I love you guys, and I pray that God would bless you. Thank you.